So first of all, can you start with your name and spell it, please? Scott Aston, E-A-S-T-I-N. Okay, and your title? Acting Italian Chief. Okay, so what happened when you pulled up tonight? What did you see? Well, originally one rig was dispatched to this address on a smoke smell or smoke in their neighborhood. And LPD arrived and found a fire in a house. So that upgraded to a full alarm. And when the first arriving unit got here, they had flames on the, going to be on the south side of the structure. And there was, the flames were just pretty much uh, contained to the south side of the structure, first floor. So did multiple neighbors call in from smelling smoke, or was it just one? Or? We're not for sure right now. Uh, 911 dispatch did get at least one call that there was smoke in there. I know this is under investigation, but are there any indications of what may have led up to the fire? Uh, not right now. Like I say, it's still under uh, investigation, and we'll be determining that real shortly. Any Do you idea about the origin of the fire? It's like I say, it's still under investigation. We don't know exactly what started it. Uh, we had a report that the house was vacant when we were in route, and we did a search of the structure, and there was nobody Side. How, how much damage are we, are we looking at? Is it pretty extensive on the yeah, inside? Yeah, there was smoke damage throughout the whole house, and it's a good-sized house. Uh, and like you say, it's more contained to the main floor of the house and the south side, so we're talking probably, oh, I don't know, five to $7,000 if possible. And you say vacant, so no one's living in there? Is there furniture or anything like that? Um, it didn't look like I never got inside the structure myself, but from what I could see, I didn't see any structure, and the gas was locked out, so there 